goals, he's scored some great goals this season. I think one against Bradford. You know, you can only just stand and applaud that type of thing. And, you know, it's just nice to know that I'm on his side and not on the receiving end. He hit it for the first time. It was perfect. Nobody thought he could uh, better the one he scored uh, against Bradford, uh, but he did at Middlesbrough. Until you see it on TV, um, you don't realise how sweet he hit it. And when they've got the camera angle behind the goals, it just bends right into the top corner. The hardest ball is to hit, the ball coming across you. Um, but it puts so much power and, and a little bit of bend on it. Unstoppable. Just the last couple of months, really, when, well, most things have seemed to it have gone in. I don't, I don't know what that is. I think just, just, just the run you go on. It's just a, you hit a purple patch and that's that. You can hit a good shot, it could go just wide, and then you can hit another one in the stand, and then, you know, one out of one out of five, one out of ten, or something, one of one going in the top corner. Great technique and, and balance and, and power, timing really. There's no back lifting, he's just well up sitting. He's got great movement on the ball. His technique is, is something that's that's hard to that's hard to find. The way he swerves the ball and dips the ball and and uh, keepers have a big problem with that. It's one of those natural things. Even as a youngster, Paul Scholes had the ability to time a ball sweetly with either foot. He's never been afraid to have a go from distance, and the power he generates is frightening. When I was a kid, I always liked to score goals, that's it, and do shoot, and I, I can't really remember if I was kicking a ball against the wall or anything. I, you know, I just went in the local field and, you know, and had shots and stuff like that, really. It's really just repetition, repetition, and it's really having the having the courage, and and in your own ability to actually try them things. That's one thing that Scholes has got. He's never afraid in a game to try things, um, and that's the that's the beauty of him. Really, is that he's unexpected. You don't know what Scholes is going to do next. Well, only as far as Scholes. I don't think there's a proper way to do it. Um, as long as you hit it, you know, who cares which way you do it? Um, a lot of people have different techniques, and you know, I, I don't think there's a correct way. Like I said, as long as you hit it and you hit it well, then it doesn't matter how you do it. You need to keep your head over the ball, yeah, and make sure you hit through the ball for you know to get as much power as you can, and you know hopefully that'll come off. I think you do have to. Try and go for corners as well to so the keeper ain't, ain't got a chance really. Well, I think he's got a personal claim on the goal of the season award, hasn't he, Paul Scholes? He's certainly got a couple of fantastic candidates for that title, and there's another. He's a great little competitor. Uh, got great vision, great awareness, great touch. Um, he's aggressive. He's good in a tackle. His, his all-round game is pretty excellent and, uh, you know, I, I believe Scorsi can go on and, and become one of the great players, one of the great English players and some of the things he does on a field and what I see in training um, is phenomenal. <laughs>